Hi guys, welcome back to another vlog. So I wanted to um, answer a question or two and then get into some holiday tips for you. Um, I get the question of, Stephanie, why don't you work for Weight Watchers? Well, I'm gonna be honest. Um, I did gain 10 pounds from Lifetime, so that kind of plays a part in it. Um, however, the hours they wanna give me are pretty much less than five hours a week. Now, you you know my struggle. I cannot do that. I cannot, I, that's not, I need something else to fall back on. I need to be able to pay bills. <laughs> and um, it's not for me. Also, I am really adamant that I want to work for them via social media. I believe I have so much power via social media that I would be perfect to be a Weight Watchers social media person because I am the walking campaign. I am the one always on social media answering questions, answering your questions, answering your emails. Like, I pretty much work for Weight Watchers and I'm doing it for free over here. So, I don't know. I think I'm more beneficial online, to be honest, because I have that marketing and PR and I can show you guys this is what it is. This is how it's going to be. But, you know, that's only my dream job to work for Weight Watchers via social media and that's pretty much my dream to be honest um I think that's all I get however let's go into what I really want to talk about let's talk about two parts one we're gonna talk about the holidays a lot of people ask me Stephanie Thanksgiving's coming up Christmas is giving coming oh my gosh New Year's how do you stay on track simple you pre plan like thanksgiving i'm just gonna binge on thanksgiving guess what come friday i'm back to 26 points ain't no if ands or buts but if you're one of those people who want to track for thanksgiving and christmas guess what you do you bring your measuring spoons you bring your small scale i own a small scale and i bring my measuring spoons and i will measure that stuff out no joke. I may look weird doing it, but guess what? This is my body. They're not paying for Weight Watchers for me. They're not paying it for you. They're not the ones in the fight to save their life, to make themselves healthier. I am. That's my responsibility. It's your responsibility. Don't be like, oh my God, but it was there. False. If you're so worried about it, measure and weigh it. I don't care if you look all like, oh my God, what is she doing? Guess what? Again, so what? And if you want to go to the extreme like this one does, and I do go to the extreme, I call them ahead of time. I'm like, hey, so and so, what are you having? You know, I just want to pre-plan my stuff. You know, I just want to know what I can eat there. And you know what? Honestly, people are so receptive. They're like, you know what? Hey, guess what? We're having the turkey. We're having the coleslaw. We're having this. Cool beans, dude. If you want to go into further detail, like I do, I'm like, oh, well, is it from Kirkland? Because many people go to Costco. Or is it from Ralph's? Do you, is there a brand on it? Is there a label? And you know what? People are going to be like, yeah, you know what, Steph? Let me get it for you. They'll take pictures, send it to you. And you can pre-plan. You need to do something for you. You need to have a plan for the holidays. If you don't have a plan, then you plan to fail. Because let me tell you, I have done that the first two years out of seven or Weight Watchers <laughs> and I've just picked up on it five years I've done good I've called I bothered I'd have asked for labels I've asked if there's nutrition facts on it how many servings I don't care they weren't the one paying for Weight Watchers for me also keep in mind that not everyone's on the same journey as you but people will understand I have no problem telling people I'm on Weight Watchers I don't if they can understand that, oh wow. But most are so compassionate. They're like, hey, well, you know, I saved the label for you. Or the label's in the kitchen if you wanna go see it. Or I put the label on my purse, here you go. Like, people are so cool. They're like, that's so awesome. She's just trying to stay on track. I wish I can do that. People have given me nothing but positive responses. And you just gotta be upfront with it. You're doing something for you. You're being better for yourself. Like, it's all about you. Those are my tips for you. Okay, third, third part of this. Speaking of this is all about you, um, you know, the whole I can't comes in. I 
here and I read so many emails about people who say, I can't keep on track. I can't do this. I can't do that stuff. I don't know how you do that. I don't know how you only have one Reese's stuff. I don't know how you only have one tablespoon of Reese's spread. I can't do it. You can. Want to know why? Because it's all mental. Little story. Yesterday I went hiking in Hellman. It's full of hills. Uphill hills. I'm telling you, the elevation, the steepness of these hills, you would die. Like, I died. So there's about seven or eight big hills to get to one tank. Another four or five to get to another tank. Mind you, these tanks are far away from each other. During my hike, I've done this hill many times, but I've only gone to one tank. This time, I woke up in the morning. I'm going to go to the, both tanks. Both. From one end of helmet to the other. I woke up, did what I had to do, and then when I got there, I thought, okay, first tank. The graffiti tank. I'm good. I'm going to go do it. Great. That's my typical workout. Then, when I was doing it, someone's like, hey, guess what? There's coyotes. Now, part of me was panicked. I was like, I'm not prepared for this. What do I do? I was Googling what happens if you come across a coyote. Like, will coyotes eat you? I've only seen coyotes in somebody's backyard. So it's really not... I mean, it's common around here. But it's not common to be up front with one. So I was like kind of panicked. So I was like, you know what, Stephanie? I'm a beast. Keep going forward, don't bother them, don't look forward, don't make a lot of noise, just keep going. I mean, yeah, I panicked, but that wasn't gonna stop my workout. I had every reason to turn back around. Every reason, and I didn't. Then, once I got done with the first one, I started trekking back to the other water, the, I call it the white water tower. Now these hills, I at that point I had already done four miles. I was like, this is gonna be the death of me. And I was on the path alone. So I was like walking, walking, and at one point I stopped because my legs, my glutes, my quads, my calves were on fire. I felt the swelling, I felt them ache, I felt them burn. I was just like leg day, leg day, leg day. And I wanted to stop. I stopped and I stared down at the hills and I just wanted to jump. But there was no going back. I was like, hell no, Stephanie, you've already come this far. You do that second tower. I didn't say I can't. I knew once I said I can't do this, guess what? Downhill, my butt would have turned right back around. So I ended up doing 1,213 calories burned and 6.24 miles. Why? Because I didn't say I can't. I said, you know what, Stephanie? You got this. 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 And I did it. I did it because I kept mental cheering myself on. I kept saying, go Stephanie, go Stephanie. And that's what you have to do. You have to be your own cheerleader. You can't even use the word can't. Can't is not in my vocabulary. You tell me I can't do something, I'm gonna do it without you. Pretty much, that's how it goes in my life. Um, don't use the word can't. I have plenty of times where I say I can't and I won't do this. I've been in depression, I've been in anxiety, and I never once said I can't. Someone brought it up on Instagram that says, you know, I admire the fact that you're going through something and not once did you give up working out or staying on track. And it's true. I never said I can't because I can. It helps de-stress me. I can do this. I may be crying, but guess what? I can do this. I may be in a bad, foul mood, but I can do this. And it's never I can't. Once you say I can't, you're doomed. So you need to remove that from your vocabulary. Because remember, this is a challenging season. It's going to be challenging. And you're going to be like, I can't. I can't do this. I can't do that. You can. You better prepare yourself. You better plan to succeed. If you don't plan, you fail. That's the truth. So... I hope I wasn't too hard on you but those are my little tricks and that's what I pretty much wanted to give you guys because I know this is gonna be hard and if you have any questions don't bother emailing me at stephanie at if once again that email is stephanie at if and I'm willing to answer any questions you may have and pretty much if you want to vent I'm here to vent because I've been there seven years 119 pounds 
Can you just tend back? I'm good. I know everything. I've been through it. So, hope you guys survive the holidays and have a good one.